So you want to use your Canon camera as a webcam. Good news for you guys is it's really simple and in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I want to thank you guys for joining me in today's video. Now if this is your first time here please hit subscribe and the notification bell. And then you can watch more videos about photography, videography, and also social media tips in future. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set your Canon camera up as a webcam. Now this is really easy to do. Canon have provided us now with some software that you can download on your computer and then just plug in and play your camera as a webcam. Now this is always gonna work so much better than your integrated webcam because most of them seriously are trash. I mean this cost me nearly £2,000 and uh, the webcam is rubbish so this is really kind of music to my ears to find out that I could use this now as a webcam. But how do you do it? Well you need three things to start with. You need your Canon camera and you need a USB-C lead and then finally you need to use Canon's free software. So with these three things, then you need to learn how to do it. So how do we do this? Well, the good news is what you need to do is you need to actually go onto the Canon website and then download the software first. So let's show you how to do this. You wanna come over to the Canon page here and then go to EOS Webcam Utility Beta. Now, if you're thinking, oh God, am I gonna be able to find this? What I'll do is I'll actually stick a link in the description so that you can click it there and that will take you directly to this page. The next step is you need to know if your camera is actually going to be available to use with this Canon software. Now you can see here the list of Canon cameras which you can use to actually turn into a webcam. For me, it's the Canon EOS RP, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. When you've chose your camera from the list, it's as simple as actually scrolling down on this page and then actually choosing your option to download. So I'm just gonna scroll down to the software option here and then the first one available is EOS Webcam Utility Beta. This is available for both Mac and Windows, so don't worry, Canon has you covered there. All you need to do now is choose the right one for you and then press select and that's gonna download on your computer. The next step is to ensure that your Canon camera is actually two hand and then make sure you plug in the USB-C lead and then the USB into your computer. Now everything's actually almost set up to go, but there's a few things that you might need to change if you're using another app. For instance, a lot of us are working at home right now because of this crazy time that we're facing globally. And a lot of you are using apps to do that with. So you're using Zoom, MSN Teams, whatever it is you're using, you're gonna to need to connect this to your Canon camera. A lot of them, you can just click on it and it's gonna provide you with the EOS webcam utility and straight away it will start working. But if that is not the case, like Zoom, I don't think you can do it in fact, actually, let me go through it with you so that you can actually learn how to do this. So if we go into the Zoom app and we launch a meeting here, you can see that now I'm actually registered as working on this webcam, which is great news. But this is not through the EOS utility. I've actually had to choose something else to make this work. So what I've done here is I've clicked on a list and I've chose Sparko Cam Video. This is completely free software, which you can actually just download on your computer. And it recognizes on certain softwares like Zoom and others, which don't register automatically with Canon's EOS utility. And this means that you can actually use it simply that way. Now, if you're using a Mac, there's other things you can use, a really good one. And one I recommend is one called Cam Twist. Now there's one further step which you need to make and that's to actually take care of your audio. It's really easy to do this. So all you need to do is plug a microphone into uh, an audio interface, or if you wanna make it even easier, you could just simply plug in any microphone 
into your computer and then start using that as audio. And you can choose this option from whatever program it is you're using, MSN Teams, Zoom, whatever, and then you'll have the option to change the audio over in there. If you guys have any questions about how to do this or you just didn't follow along with something in the video, just leave me a comment in the description of the video and I will get back to you and help you out with that. Make sure to hit subscribe and the notification bell, guys. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.